And I'm like, bro, I'm not suggesting no smutty, spicy books to my dad. Are you crazy? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Vlogbiz. Um, the bun is back. Your girl is sick. Got back from Mexico two days ago. Worked from home yesterday. I had a slight cough yesterday, but then... It slowly transitioned into like a fever like it's just getting worse and worse so I was supposed to get go into the office today and I'm like guys look I'm a girl and I'm a mom so we're able you know us women we're able to keep living life even when we're sick it's not good that we're like that but we're able to I could have went to work but I don't want them getting sick so close to Christmas like I don't want I got sick I don't know how what happened I don't know what it is but if I could avoid someone else getting sick I'll just work from home. So I am currently working. I decided to just pick up the camera to say hi because the sun tends to go down really quickly. Um, I have about two hours until break and on break we're gonna stop by. We're gonna check out a winner's location just so I can try to find a gift for um, Attila's like a uh, cafeteria lady, like, not cafeteria, like the cook at the at the daycare and I want to find something for his actual teacher as well. I was told a gift card from Shoppers. Apparently she loves Shoppers Drug Mart so I'm gonna get her maybe a gift card from there. But um, yeah I just wanted to come here and say hi because I feel like I'm always filming in the dark now because by the time I'm done work it's dark out. So I'm gonna get some work done. I already started. I had a meeting not too long ago. I'm wearing a two-piece set from Marshalls or Winners or Home, whatever you want to call it, whatever. TJ Maxx, TK Maxx. Um, they sell these two-piece sets from this brand. I forgot the name of the brand, but it's like a influencer that had a brand and her stuff. You can buy them on um, at Marshalls. We also have like gifts to wrap. A lot of people say that like in corporate, in the corporate world, like the week, Christmas week is very dead. Not us. There's so much stuff to do. So yeah, we're going to go check out gifts. I'm going to get her that Shoppers Drug Mart gift card. I might get her like $30 gift card with like chocolate or, yeah, probably chocolate or something because she's Muslim. So I don't think she, I would assume that she doesn't drink. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to come say hi and, you know show my face i love my tan i have a pretty good tan line i love being this color like people that avoid the sun i don't get it like i i thrive in the sun i truly feel like i belong maybe it's like maybe it's i don't know maybe it's me getting in touch with like my ancestors i don't know what it is but being in a tropical environment my brain correlates with that a lot more than here i was so i got I, guys I, I got so much content that i think people think i'm still in mexico because i'm pushing out content people should be like aren't you on vacation like yeah but like i was motivated to like film content get pictures get stuff like but i'm you would say you would think that like oh well just wait until summer in much it's not the same like it's not the same like the summer here and this and the weather over there mind you it's winter like considered in Mex mexico or in like the caribbean right now and in latin america so over even if over there it was like 20 degrees celsius only or even 18 16 degrees celsius at night i still felt like it, it has it has to it has there, there must be something deeper to it like i felt like at home and that's how i felt when i was in cuba last year and that's how i feel obviously when i'm in haiti like this I'm home vibe I like I want to work like I it's like it's honestly the outer body experience like I don't know how to explain it maybe you know other people like POCs or like um immigrants like understand where I come I'm coming from it just like I don't think I would feel at home in Florida because it's not the same you know what I'm trying to say I don't know how to explain it like it's I love Montreal, but I thrive in that environment. And um, yeah, the only thing that like, I'm a very independent person. I like having my car, my car, leave my house, do what I have to do, go grocery shopping. I like that. So I couldn't live on a resort for the rest of my life. Like I'd go crazy. But um, 
just the vibes like just it was just amazing i, I want to go on a trip for it till his birthday fingers crossed my boss lets me <laughs> ah, fingers crossed anyways i want to show you guys my nails also i did them last night one thing about darcia she's gonna do it herself i saw this on pinterest i think or tiktok i forgot where and let me show you properly it was like glitter tips but like very subtle like not a french tip just like something cute for the winter or for like the holidays and i did them myself and i added some builder gel gel so it could be a bit thicker it's not perfect okay i'm not saying i'm a nail tech but i'm dare damn near being a nail tech like i'm very happy with how they came out and this cost me zero dollars because i did not well i i had all of this equipment for like a while so yeah anyways i'll see you guys on break when we're gonna go do a bit of christmas shopping okay guys we're about to head out my god the sun is ruining everything we are about to head out my outfit is the two-piece set that i said earlier and um i'm wearing a cardigan under because it's cold so this cardigan is from fashion nova it's just it's not because of like it's cute it's really because it's the perfect length so it's like hidden under my coat um speaking of coat my coat is from jlux label i got it like two winters ago i think and um it's really warm it's a really nice classy coat for this time of year my scarf is from aldo no my scarf is from where's is, is it from boohoo let's see the tag it's either from boohoo or from aldo or from Z no i don't i bought the zara one for like 60 dollars and i returned it because i saw it cheaper somewhere else and i bought it at that store but i will link a leopard print um scarf for you guys that's cute probably the aldo one because i've had the aldo for years and i think my mom took it and i think i repurchased it i'm not sure it's either boohoo or aldo um <clears throat> but um it's it's worth every penny like i feel like it's in style forever like it's a nice leopard like it's not like a cheap looking my shoes are gonna be my um tasman uggs of course because they're just so comfortable and they're super clean so i could wear these but they're like dirty i like wearing these when it's like snowing you know don't you don't really realize how dirty a pair of shoes is until it snows so yeah and my bag is my Givenchy um antigona bag so yeah we're gonna head out i'm gonna see if i can get myself a 911 tea from a coffee shop we'll see i'm trying to avoid avoid the coffee shop that starts with an s so if they don't have something i'll have to make tea myself my parents have a lot of mint at home we'll see also makeup is no makeup lashes i am breaking out over here but lashes brow gel slick bun we're ready to go I just found this cute set slippers with a scarf for 35 I think I'm gonna gift that to one of them I think that's cute and it's like big and like I can wrap it too you know oh, okay guys if you guys can, okay you guys can see me we're about to wrap my dad's gift I just got done at work and I have to leave in about half an hour because I have to go get my lashes done I just remembered I had an appointment today so I couldn't find like a box like a prettier box than this for my dad but my dad doesn't really keep boxes so we're just gonna use a good old amazon box that's going to fit all of his stuff amazon did send all of my dad's stuff separately and um so i'm just gonna pile it all up and combine it into one box so basically inside the box i'm gonna be using this tissue paper very pretty it has like these snowflakes, eh, snowflakes, these um, Christmas trees. I literally just bought this like a couple on break when I was at the winters near my place. So it will, it's on sale. Everything that's like Christmassy right now is on sale. It was on sale for two dollars. And I'm just gonna place it like in a pretty. Wait, so one of them is gonna go inside 
like this. I think one is enough actually. So basically what I got my dad for Christmas are books. I did get him other things, um, but I got him, I'm not gonna say what I, I got him another gift, it's perfume, he loves perfume, so I got him perfume. And I got books on Amazon. He, I'm like, what do you want for Christmas? He's like, I want this book. I'm like, boy, I'm not buying you one book. Like, okay, so I did my research on TikTok and I wrote down like books for, fun books, entertaining books for middle-aged men. My mom, my dad has a tendency of reading a lot of like self-help or like, you know, like finance books and stuff. I'm like, do you ever read for fun? Like just a fun story to read. So I did my research on TikTok. I got him the book he wanted. He wanted Joyce, what? Babysitter by Joyce Carol Oates. It's a captivating um, thriller, I think, mis mystery book. Mysterious, death, sinister, eerily plausible. Not my kind of book. Um, I'm currently reading Barbarian's Prize by Ruby Dixon. That's the type of shit I read. <laughs> but he wanted that, so it's on, it's in the box. Going in the box. Then I was like, let's stay in the same. And these are all books suggested by men on TikTok. There's Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. This is a black author. I don't I don't read mystery books, so I'm just going with the flow. Then I got him The Perfect Marriage. This was uh, viral on Book Talk, and I think three guys suggested this book, so who am I to not listen to them? Then I follow Callie, and her and her boyfriend are obsessed with the Housemaid series. I think there's more to these, I'm not sure, but she loves, they love Frida McFadden, so, um, and they were suggested by like two book talkers, male book talkers, so I added those. It's The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret. Ooh, do I have space for one more book? It's getting high. Then I got him uh, The Silent Patient. This is by Alex Michael Lides. Very popular on Book Talk as well. People love this book, so I got that for my dad as well. He's been... Um, He's been talking about going back into reading for fun. So I was like, let me... Like, he's like asking me to suggest him books. And I'm like, bro, I'm not suggesting no smutty, spicy books to my dad. Are you crazy? It's not happening. So should I wrap these individually? That's a waste of paper. I'm not going to do that. So yeah, so I was like, are the books enough? Then I was like, no, of course not. So I ordered a USB book light. So if he's ever in bed next to my mom and she's sleeping, he doesn't want to like turn on the lights on her, he can use this. I have one, not the same, but I have a reading light and it comes in handy. I got him a magnifying bookmark for pocket, purse, desk, glove box, toolbox, and more. So it's a bookmark that you can like see better. I got that. I got him chapstick. I got the Aquaphor chapstick because he's always like, you have lip balm for me? I know you have a lot of makeup. You have lip balm for me? And I'm like, sir, you're not going to be wearing Laneige any, like, no. So I got him his own. Hopefully he doesn't lose it because he seems to lose a lot of stuff all the time. Then him and my mom are going on vacation soon. They're thinking I'm going somewhere in the Caribbean. So I got these like months ago because I found them. Not months ago, I would say like early November. I'm taking off the tag as if my dad cared, but he doesn't really care. Um, Rick and Morty, my dad is a big Rick and Morty fan. He absolutely loves Rick and Morty. I always get him something Rick and Morty. I got him a mug once with other stuff. Like I got him sneakers and, and I got him like perfume. And then I added a Rick and Morty mug. Then I got him um, a year more perfume because he wants every time on his birthday and Christmas he wants perfume. So I got him a perfume and other stuff, but I got him Rick and Morty slippers. And now I'm get him, getting him the tags for his suitcase. He has a pretty like charcoaly suitcase and I think these would look really nice on like one on his carry-on and one on his suitcase. So just to like recognize his stuff, I think it's really, really cute. Um, I am encouraging him to get air tags because I got some and they're like a lifesaver like just getting that notification that says like your suitcase is at the airport you know like when we were in Mexico it took a while for suitcases to come out so we we're like 
we weren't freaking out some people were like kind of freaking out but like we weren't because it literally said that our suitcases were at the airport so that was um i think i'm gonna maybe i should get them for them when they go on that trip yeah, so the box is taped and we're gonna wrap it quickly. I'm not gonna, sh you guys aren't gonna watch me wrap this box, okay? Because you guys have seen me wrap so many things already. So I'm gonna wrap it. I just want to show you guys like a good gift idea for like a reader. That's a good gift idea. Speaking of readers, my son, I got him this. He loves Spidey. Like, he loves other superheroes, but Spidey is his guy. So this is like the first words with spidey is this big enough this is too small so i have to get more paper i'm trying to use up like the old like you know the finishing the i don't know the rest of the paper because i don't want to like waste paper but i guess i'm just going to have to i'm just going to have to open up a roll so i'm gonna wrap both of their gifts i'm not gonna film that but i am going to see you guys when i get my lashes done though Hey guys, I am going to do to end this video because it's gonna be the last like Christmas related video. Let's see. Okay, this is better. Yeah, the last Christmas related video. And um, I'm gonna do a what I got for Christmas just to end this video off on like a you know fun light note. Um, I really hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with your family. I hope you had a safe Boxing Day, especially my US supporters. And um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys that I love you guys oh so, so much. And another year with y'all and more coming, you know, we, we in this for life, in this for life. Even when my YouTube journey ends, one day we're still going to be like this. So let's jump right into it the first things that i got the first thing i got for christmas wasn't really a christmas gift to me we played white elephant and i won a massive massive case i don't know how to say this in english i mean case i think there's like there's like 24 boxes of tissues and the budget was 30 dollars. so you brought a gift and then there was games and stuff so um i brought a, a victor and rolf mini perfume and I also brought a, for my mom, um, a candle and the matching soap from Bath & Body Works. So both of these were worth $30. And then my dad brought a liquor store gift card, the SAQ um, of $30. And he also brought a set for like alcohol, like with like the cups and like the jug, the, the pitcher and everything that was worth 30 bucks. So it was me, my dad, Jimmy, and my mom that played the white elephant with other people. And I won a giant, giant Costco size package of tissue papers. That was probably like 10, $11 and they slipped $20 inside. So that's what I won. And I exchanged it for something else. No, I, I got it taken away from me and then I got it back. So I got, that's my first gift. Makes no sense, but that's my first gift. Then Christmas day, what I got from my parents is a Winner's Marshalls gift card. Um, what is it? Winners, Marshalls, and Home Sense gift card, forty dollars to go by myself. I usually like buy books now these days at those stores, so that's what I got from my parents. I also got the two. I think these are the two first books from the Aquatar series. My girl Pearl was like, "You need to read this," and I knew Chris. I have so many books I have to read on my TBR. So I didn't want to purchase it myself because I have I had so many books. I knew Christmas was coming, Valentine's is coming up, so I didn't buy it. But they got me the two first books. Uh -huh. So I'm assuming my parents they have like you know most, like most people they had a budget. So um, they got me the two first books, which is great because you know I can probably find the two other ones on Facebook Market or I can just buy them at Indigo. So. Yeah, I got those for my parents and then they got me my bookshelf, a third one, because it was on my Christmas list. So shout out my parents. They went to Ikea. They picked it up. Um, I'm going to insert the link so you guys know it's like a brown bookshelf, very pretty against like a white wall and it fits so many books. So I have that. And from my little brother, I got um, one of my little brothers. I got an Indigo gift card, which is probably what I'm going to use to 
get the rest of the Akatar series. So I got an indigo gift card. And apparently they ran into each other when he when they went to go get these, he went to go there and they ran into each other at the store, which is really funny. So he got me this with that was also on my list because at the time I lost my um my purple one, the Laneige lip balm. I lost the what is it the the gummy bear one I lost that one so at the time I found it again and I think I lost it again but I lost it so I was like okay I need a new lip balm I really like this I liked I used to have the grapefruit and I loved it so I asked any any flavor I linked it for him I in my Christmas list I linked it and I linked the peach the grapefruit and um, but I wrote any flavor works like I really except for apple but like anything works for me I don't really mind and he got me the one that I linked so so from my auntie Maggie she got Jimmy and I matching mugs so this is called or this is called this says wife and it says nutrition facts uh, one thousand percent beauty five hundred percent caring. 110% hardworking, 0% wrong answers, facts, 150% uh, sexiness, and 200% wine. And then husband, also the same thing. It says 1,500% um, strength, 1,000% leadership, 110% um, hard work, 80% wrong answers, unconditional love, infinite. Then from my grandma, on my mom's side, shout out Grandmama Lolo. Um, they watch, uh, both my grandmas watch my videos, so my grandma's probably gonna think it's funny that I shouted her out, but she got me a Sherpa king size bed set. If you guys don't know, my bed is a king size, and um, it says like thermal or whatever on it, but it's no textured teddy fleece comforter set. So really cute great for the winter time right now so i got that from them and then from my boy if i was to say boyfriend from jimmy jimmy went in one thing about jimmy y'all that you guys don't know is that jimmy is not the you guys know the sprinkle sprinkle life right jimmy is not the his love language isn't gift giving so when he does he doesn't give gifts all the time but when he does he goes like all out um, Jimmy likes to feed me and acts of service. Jimmy will feed me until I ex- Jimmy could have $10 in his account and if I say I'm hungry, he's like, here's $10, go eat. Like, or he'll make, like, making me food, he'll get up, make me food all the time. Like, he cooks most, like, from scratch, Jimmy cooks most of the time in the house. Me, on the other hand, I'll be like, what do you want? I'm gonna buy it for you. <laughs> what do you want? I'll buy it for you. Like, I'm always giving shit away. I'm always like, who wants this? Who wants that? I'm always doing that because I feel like that's, I have a hard time expressing how I feel with my words and with my, um, you know, just, is, that's my main love language is gift giving and then words of affirmation and then the rest comes after, like, but the two main ones is words of affirmation and gift giving. Jimmy is acts of service and even words of affirmation is kind of backwards because he'll bully you, but you know if he's bullying you, it's because he likes you. He bullies his best friends, he bullies me, <laughs> but it's like affectionate bullying when um not literal i don't want you guys thinking i'm in this abusive relationship i'm not literally bullying me but it's like it's you know it's like it comes from like an affectionate way when <clears throat> so yeah so but he he on christmas and on my birthday and valentine's day he goes all in jimmy got me a new bag there's a stain on this probably from drinking and eating but he got me a new bag he got me the bag i wanted I already unwrapped it, so it's not an unboxing, but I got the baguette, the Fendi baguette with the uh, monogram logo. I wanted a new dark tone bag that could fit a book. Mind you, I don't carry much besides lip gloss and keys. It could fit a book if I wanted to, but I wanted a new dark tone bag for the winter fall season. This is great in the summer as well, but I don't wear big bags in the, in the summer. So this is like a medium sized bag. It's really nice, the crossbody and everything. It looks beautiful. The gold hardware, I absolutely love this bag. Mind you, these are not gifts that he does all the time. I don't want you guys thinking that this is like, like I told you, his love language is a lot different than mine, but he does know that 
that's what I wanted, so that's what he got for me. So shout out Bay. Very happy. I have a hard time showing excitement. That could be, you know, ADHD. Um oh yeah, um update on that. I don't know if I don't know if you guys knew, but we could do like a, if you guys want like a chit chat, get ready with me about it. But like I have been diagnosed with ADHD. So I'm it's not that I'm happy about it, it's just that you live with something your whole life and your whole life in your head you're like something's not right <laughs> something is off like something is something is off something is so subtle but something is especially in women it's so subtle but something is off my whole life i knew and even my psychiatrist was like i feel like you've known this for a while like she's like you talk like someone that has known this about yourself you just needed confirmation and i still have appointments i have to take after the holidays because she's like off and i'm off as well so yeah so yeah so we can talk about if you guys want to talk about this in the comments we can talk about it leave a comment leave a comment down below so we can talk about this in depth but um let's move on to the um this is this is all these are all of the gifts that i've had so far maybe i'll get something else from like my bestie i do have her gift that she has to unwrap and this side and the third, but we have a last gift. Um, we are expanding our family. Wait, do not get too excited. Momo has a little sister. Hi, Callie. There she is. Look at Callie. I do not know what breed she is. All I know is that her pattern is called Calico, which is basically why we called her Cali. Um, Momo, I'm here, come here. Momo likes her, but he's also very wary of her. And she's at an age where he's like, are we like siblings or are you, or are you my girl? Like what's up? So I have to get him fixed or her, one, one of the other, I have to get them fixed. Momo! And she's so small, and she spends a lot of time under the bed. Oh, her heartbeat, she's so cute. And look at her. And you guys will not believe, I got her for Christmas from my little brother, um, Bruce. You guys have seen a glimpse of him for his birthday. We went to that sushi, the, the, the anime sushi place. So on my Christmas list, I like snuck in like a cat in there. Like I was like, makeup, makeup, da -da -da, perfume, da -da 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 -da, cat, da -da 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 -da, like books. Da -da -da. So he was like, cat, he's like, I bet. So he got me a kitten. She's three months old. She's so active and independent. I got Momo when he was about a month old while I was pregnant, which is why um, he thinks, he literally thinks I'm his mother. Um, I never realized how big he was. My place is pretty messy, but he is gigantic compared to her. Um, I always saw him as like, I'm just a baby. Like, you a grown man. You need to start paying your part in this. I need the dishes done when I come back from work. Like, <laughs> I just need, I need help. You a grown man now. So yeah, so um, I haven't bought myself anything for Christmas yet. I'm not sure why. I think it's very healthy to get yourself stuff. I'm not saying to break the bank, but if you want to buy yourself something. So yeah, so that is all for the last Christmas themed video. You guys are probably still going to see my girl over here in the back because um, I just enjoy having my Christmas tree out. It's, it's a vibe. And that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year's. Even if you don't celebrate any of those happy holidays, you'll probably have some time off. So enjoy it. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Do not drink and drive. And yeah. Love you guys. Bye.